Hello, we meet again in Dear Damaste. If you are new to my channel, my name is Dear, and welcome to my channel, Dear Damaste. Damaste is from Dear, my name, mixed with Namaste, so it becomes Damaste. <laughs> yes, I wanna send you magical dream come true, pure crystal light and love to you all. In my channel, I am doing a free reading giveaway. It's a way for me to say thank you to all the subscribers and everybody who are watching this and subscribing my channel. And all you have to do is be a subscriber, click comment down below the video of the month that you wish to enter the free reading giveaway. Um, the winner will be announced on Instagram at the end of the month there will be two winners one from my youtube channel and one from my instagram so if you want two chances of winning the free reading giveaway at the end of this month of the month that i'm posting the video right now you can go over on the instagram to look at the condition so you can enter over there as well last time i did a marry me on on Halloween so it's about uh, which uh, monster you will be marrying if you want to know which monster you'll be marrying a werewolf a vampire or a witch you can go look at this video on this top bottom you can go look over there and see who you'll be marrying as a monster because that was like a Halloween theme okay I am doing Greek god which greek god or goddesses you'll be marrying okay but the theme of today will be who you'll be marrying and life after marriage okay life after marriage like what will the marriage be like after marrying this greek god and goddesses okay and i will add a little bit of sex into that too because Greek gods and goddesses are renowned for their sexual encounter, okay? They are like a sexual being, these gods and goddesses, if you read about that, sorry. So I will add a little bit of that too. So I will like do the reading at the end of the um the reading. So if anybody don't want to watch that, you can just click away when I read about sexual stuff, okay? So this is 18 plus reading my channel we always start the reading with love yourself affirmation okay this to open up your heart chakra so it's easier for you to pick the power of card when your heart is open and light and happy so let's start the love yourself affirmation together i love who i am i deserve to be happy and successful I see problems as opportunities to make me grow. I think positively about other people and believe that everyone is doing their best. I am willing to get out of my comfort zone. I am confident and brave. I have ultimate creativity. I am a great person. I am a wonderful person. I am beautiful. I have limitless energy and live my life to the fullest i believe in myself i can achieve anything i set my mind to thank you so much for doing that with me so let's start the reading today i am using a several um crystal for to represent this reading okay and uh please pause the video at least three minutes to really meditate and clear your mind and pick the power of card that really calling your name don't choose the power of card because you like the cover of the card okay pick the power that really really screaming your name i also gonna put crystal with them as well for you to like relate it to the crystal more so this is clear cord a cluster of clear cords for part number one part number two i pick a 
group of a darker crystal, smoky quartz, obsidian, and uh, for the third pile, I pick all the loving energy crystal, okay, to help you through your mind, body, and soul. And uh, for the fourth one, I put um, an amethyst cluster. Now let's go inside and read the card and see which Greek god or goddess that you're gonna be married in the future. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, darling, let's see what's um you gonna be marrying. Like who will you be married? Which Greek god or which Greek goddess if you are a guy you'll be marrying? And for those of you who are a girl if you see the goddess inside the chart, it means that um, like the, the guy is the, the male god is the, the guy that you will be marrying. And if you are a girl, then the girl is representing you. Okay, so if you have like a, um, Athena in, in, in the goddess, then it means that it's represent you as well. Okay, so let's see which goddess god you will be marrying. Let's see. So, you're gonna be marrying Hermes, the Wanderer. Hermes? Hermes. <laughs> How do you say his name? Okay, I would say Hermes. Her Hermes, okay? Was the god of traveler, commerce, thief, and messenger. Hermes is a god of wit. He is a wanderer an electric taste of knowledge and worldly thing. His archetype relates wonderfully to children since he himself refused to grow up. In his darker moment, Hermes gives in to his lackadaisical size and becomes the fool. He lack of ambition of the other gods since it implies responsibility Though he is curious as to his affair, this provide him leverage should he needed it. So, this one of the gods. I will open to guys because um, I want you to have like choices. And I mean, like, you know, some people, they don't only have one personality. So, okay, let's see the next guy. It's Zeus, Tyrant. Zeus have responsibility to maintain order. As long as order is maintained, he wants to go out and play. His position allows him the freedom to dabble in his affair of every single god, making him a jack of all trades. With authorities, he has natural disposition that inspires others to follow him and is clever enough to manipulate those who want shadow side he rule shadow he rules as absolute and he will destroy any who resist he has allowed himself the right to enjoy any vices to feed his appetites so let's see the goddess um if you are a girl this is represent you as a goddess okay hera wow god i I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't um, plan this okay, but this is the queen and king of God, okay? Like of Greek God or Greece. So it's so weird that it's in the same pile. Okay, so you, if you are a girl, you represent this. And if you are a guy, you want to um, know which girl you'll be marrying, this is the girl. Okay, you represent the queen Hera. Queen Queen represents a regal feminine, using her beloved authority to protect others. This archetype can signify the power of women who rule over anything from office to home environment, the shadow side. Aspect reflect the tendency to become arrogant, controlling, aggressive when challenged. Hera is known as queen of the Olympians. In art of sculpture, she is depicted as legal beauty. She uses her position and power to punish her rivals. Oh God. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to move this over here, maybe. Okay. Okay, now let's see your reading. Your reading. Ace of one. The high priest. The, this card is definitely representing Hera. Five of one. Life after marriage. Okay. The world. Oopsie. The magician. The wheel. Wow. You almost have the same card. Okay. Four of cups. Ten of one. For the love card, you have keep an open mind and uh, make the effort. Healing family issue. For the goddess, you have Yukriona, stillness. Lustre, new beginning. Number 13. And uh, for the unicorn card, you have celebration. Okay, past life. And you also have panda spirit, reclaim your power. And squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Okay, darling, so as I um as we open the first pile, we definitely know that your spouse, the, the guy that you'll be marrying. Um, let me talk about this can be the don't have to be a guy, it could be like you know, your um masculine energy, the person who have more masculine energy in your relationship. Um, I can tell that he like I know Hermes and um, Zeus is like totally different person okay but I have a feeling the reason that is in the same pile is only because I feel like if you meet this person when he is a younger person like when he's like younger he is definitely a wanderer he definitely a mischievous he probably like a fuck boy he definitely um like when he if you ask his past he probably have been having a lot of girlfriends already or he have or he haven't have any girlfriend because he's dating around okay it's like it's like he's he's not sure what he wants or or he like always changed the woman all the time or like the female female energy all the time and i feel like he doesn't want to settle down i have a feeling of this this like more like an aquarius energy because i feel like you know every time when i read about aquarius men they always say like when they were younger if you date these aquarius men they are not they actually like very um flip-flop they always like to be free spirit they don't like to be tied down so definitely i feel really a lot of like aquarius energy in here like or an air sign energy okay so but the main thing is that like he is a wanderer he he even if you meet him when he's older okay he would still have that um wanderous side about him probably he's a sectarian as well like you know like to go travel he he wanted to experience new thing this guy that you are marrying this god that you are marrying and you know um if you will meet him when uh, when he is uh, young when this person is young okay i would say this person even though it's like a, a masculine energy but i would say that okay so this person that you meet um okay they they will have a wondrous side about them they like to explore new things they they you know like they 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 like to uh be like a wanderer like you know like the word wanderlust 
like this is epitomize them this like epitomize them and if you meet them when they are older i feel like they still have that craving inside them that they want it to be and you know like um if the person you are dating right now or you have a crush on or someone that you think definitely my husband or in uh, if you meet them in the future and you meet them when they're younger you can tell that in the future when he's older he will accumulate a lot of wealth power like either wealth power or both i feel like in the future he will be very successful you are even if you married him and he's not successful yet he doesn't have anything yet like you know he's a working class person but you know he's really good at accumulating like wealth and you know in the future he he gonna probably have the taurus energy as well you know like taurus sign energy like he like to accumulate wealth and he like to build a house he like to have power and stuff but if you meet him early in his life like he probably don't think about that yet he probably think about where should i go like to bar or like this weekend where should i go should i go t or this holiday where should i go should i go to thailand should i go to um new zealand or should i go serving in uh, malibu you know like he will be like really like thinking about that but if he's older if you meet him when he's older he'll be more thinking about structure plan and you know don't worry if you know about the greek god mythology and you see his suits and you like chop because actually suits is the most womanizer guy ever that i ever read in the history of history <laughs> okay he has so many wives that's why there are a lot of demigods and that's why hera is really jealous woman but i want to tell you like i don't read that i feel like he is kind of person i don't say that the guy that you're marrying will be a womanizer okay i don't say that because i feel like Zeus, when he loves someone, he loves them really strongly. And we are not gonna talk about the myth. We're gonna talk about the person as a person, okay? I feel like if he likes someone, he gonna like give them everything, like you know, give them all the attention, all the wish, on and the like the riches that he found in his life. So I feel like this guy that you're marrying, like you are marrying the right guy because he will give you everything. He will treat you like a queen that you are because you probably you probably have a Leo or like the like Aries, like you know, like those fiery I I I can feel the fiery, like the queenly um strong woman, like you know, girl boss energy from you. And I feel like you will not let him take control of you that easily okay you are a queen yourself even though he is a tyrant he is a king you will not let him in the marriage control you okay so yes so this will be the person that you're marrying so but like for people who are watching this and wanting to know the feminine energy the feminine energy which is you yourself or maybe the person that you are dating right now is a feminine energy they are a really legal person they have their own money they have their own like thing they have their power they they have a group of friends they have like a minion you know like i feel like she will be in a high position energy you like you are the kind of person who are really in a high position energy or if you are not that right now you will be that you'll be that confident woman you know you'll be like that like girl who fight for girl rights you know woman rights and you'll be the one who always there for your friend you'll be like that strong girl to always consult your friend and be there for your friend because you have been gone out like you have been go through all the heartaches okay i feel like you have met a lot of fuck boys in your life or you have like have a lot of love loss in your life that you understand people a lot when they like sad about love so you like the, your friends is always coming to you for advice of how to get over someone or how to be strong as a woman you know and i feel like um maybe you might be tiny bit a little bit jealous or maybe uh you have a tendency to like um what is it uh, not clingy but um the word is like jealous like you have a tendency to be a little bit jealous you know so tone that down because that's your shadow side okay tone that down because if you don't tone this down it will be even worse after marriage so let's talk about after marriage okay this this is the person you will be marrying the energy of them
Okay, so if you are a girl, you definitely Hera. You are a queen. You have so much magic. If you even have a magician card, and you even have priestess. So you definitely, you if you wanna manifest anything, if you wanna manifest the king in your life, you can. Okay, you can manifest anything that you want in life. You can manifest any guy that you want. Okay, so. After marriage, I feel like it's gonna be a new beginning for you. I feel like you're gonna become more peaceful because I feel like um, your energy before marriage is just a lot of um, a lot of uh, turbulence, a little bit of turbulence, and I feel like after marriage. You become more calm as a person. I feel like you're gonna become more settled because I feel like maybe if you are watching this and you are single, I feel like you are turbulent inside in the term of like, how come my friends already have boyfriend or girlfriend and I don't have it, or you all you scared that you're gonna live alone for the rest of your life, something like that. So when after you get married. After the wedding, after you already married, you you feel more peace and calm, and you feel like your life is begin. I feel like your life is begins. You you wanna start a family right away. Like your guy also wanna start the family right away, and I feel like um definitely. I'm like I like uh, you got five of one right, so I feel like yes. It's gonna still be a little bit like a Zeus and Hera story, okay? Because I feel like because you a guy will become successful, right? Like so, other girls that want to get like a daddy or like you know someone who to pay them for college or you know blah 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 like little wife or um those kind of girl who likes to get other people stuff. They will still gonna be around him because because he will be successful. Your husband, your husband will be successful. Your husband will have a lot of money or power. And these girls or this guy or this other people, like you know, they wanted to get him. And like, of course, you have to go through that. Like, you have to go through that jealousy. But I feel like. Uh, you have been through that with him before, before you marriage. Okay, so you guys have like a commitment to each other, to not cheat on each other, to be faithful to each other. Even though there will be like these girls or these people coming to like try to pull him away from you, I feel like even this this doesn't only have to be like only the people who want to like. Like cheat on, like want him to cheat on you or something. It could be like his parents, his sister, or his like family member or, or his friend. I feel like um they want a piece of his time. I want. I feel like he want. I feel like uh, after marriage, they want a piece of his property. Okay, in term of because he becomes successful, so people wanna hang out with him. Like friend that he didn't know for a long time wanna hang out with him, or when when want to hang out with your spouse, they wanted to get a piece of your spouse property. They want to get get a piece of your spouse um famous, uh, feminist or, okay. They wanna get. They wanna get a piece of your spouse, money or fame or something like that. So that's why, like after marriage, there might be still a little bit of um conflict, but it's more like you fighting off away this negative or this bad people that trying to to get him into the dark side. Okay, I feel like that. But you know, it will not be that long that you have to do that because I feel like him himself is very stable, and uh, he makes sure that you understand that he loves you, the only one. Okay. So at the end of the marriage, like at the like when you like live each other longer and you fought off this like people who try to get his or your spouse. Um, time or money or blah 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 or in a negative way when you fought off them. You guys will live a really happy, prosperous life, and you know, like you will have like children. You will, even if you don't have children, you're gonna be like very happy with you. I cannot speak today. You will be you and him 
be so happy and you and him will live such a long life i feel the energy of like a long live king and queen okay long live the king long live the queen i can hear that i can hear that for sure and also um so yeah like even this like bottom part is like um there will be something that you need to after marriage that you need to um uh, fought together because i feel like it's not gonna be easy you are after marriage because you think that it's gonna be easy it's gonna be the beginning right but you know like that's gonna be something that you need to um, work together on it like you need to like probably you need to like fight through together to to get in a stable marriage um home situation and uh definitely i feel like um Definitely, I feel like the only thing that you can fought away this this drama that I'm telling you is for you to be still be like a priestess, like you know, be, like don't be like Hera, you know, because Hera, her shadow side is her jealousy, and she always like doing bad things to the girls that Zeus hanging out with and stuff. So. The best way to gain back control in your marriage is to be peaceful. I definitely, I'm not saying that your husband or your spouse gonna cheat on you. Okay, I don't say that. Even though you got Zeus and all the Greek god and goddesses are so messed up that relationship, but I don't say that. Like, of course, like some of you might, there's might be a possibility that that might happen because Zeus are like that. But even you got a Hermes as well. Hermes is like mischievous. They always like like cheeky lie white lie to people all the time so he can get his way of course yeah like yeah of course like your your spouse will like there may be like that shadow side about him but if you are you keep yourself being queen being priestess you know being like calm being still being the precious wife like Ma mother teresa that you are eventually it will roll him back and you will live happily ev ever after together i can see that like you know because you got the world card and you got the wheel card as well so it's like you're gonna live happily ever after together but within the marriage um of course there's something need you need to fight through but you will get you will get through that and i feel like he will come back he will treat you so nice i feel like he he is devoted to you it's just your outside environment that might cause you to like troublesome and it's like it's involved your past life trauma okay it's about your childhood trauma maybe maybe when you're growing up you you feel like you have to compete with your sibling all the time or maybe even if you are only child you always have to compete with your cousin or someone that your mom or your dad know they always compare you all the time so it's it's like this jealousy this feel like you are not good enough for for him is come from yourself so you need to work on yourself when you will be able to be calm with all the outside dilemma drama trauma is that when you will shine the light and show your spouse that you are the right person that he or she picked okay so i feel like you need to heal that and that is why this like like um turbulence is happening like right like maybe like three years after marriage or something like that like because i feel like you also have something that you need to work on so if you're watching right now and you haven't married yet you haven't like get married or wedding yet i feel like now is the best time for you to work on healing yourself like healing your trauma um childhood trauma family trauma that you have so when you go into the marriage you don't have to be in this chaotic um energy okay because the more you can be still the more you can be calm um the more that your spouse will appreciate you okay i also want to tell you a story about like my family my family is actually a little bit like more like sometimes more like more than kardashian drama okay so and every time when like my uncle cheats on like his or her wife and you know the wife that stands still and be calm and don't get jealous so crazy is the one that still today with my uncle that always cheat on her so i feel like this is the energy that you need to um 
uh, need to like clean yourself off. You need to clean yourself off the the jealousy. Like, like you know, like sometimes people just don't feel like I'm not a jealous person, but. Sometimes, like the, because the way your parents raise you, it's making you feel like you need to compete all the time, you know. And compete and want to win is not a jealousy thing. It's more like about um, the reason I say jealous because it's the easier word to use in this scenario. But I feel like you need to prove yourself that you are good enough for this person to to choose. Okay, so if you go like before you, if you are single right now, didn't get married yet, or you haven't married. I feel like if you work on this before you get into your marriage situation, I feel like it's gonna be like the best for you because I feel like even if he doesn't cheat on you or something like that, that's gonna be a family drama or something that take his time away from you or take his attention away from you. And if you are if you don't master the 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 stillness the you know the calmness of a priest dress, okay? Of of like you know a high priest person, you will not get through this marriage easy, okay? But I can see a really like you will get through it, okay? I I can see you get through it. But if you practice this now, this period will be super short, and you're gonna have happiness right away and all the time, like ninety percent of the time, because I can see a lot of happiness in this marriage. But just a little hicks up that that could be fixed, and could be fixed by you, okay? And your husband or your spouse or your like your masculine energy, he, he like your spouse is very. Confidence. Uh, they are very powerful. They are like such an ideal husband or such an ideal spouse. They give you everything. They treat they treat you like a queen. They always buy you stuff. They always treat you dinner. They always say nice thing to you. They like really, really such a great person. But it's about you that you need to believe in yourself. You need to like open up your heart and you know let him treat you well and let him. Heal your heart and let yourself heal yourself inside the heart as well. Also, I want to open the the zodiac sign card as well. So the zodiac sign card that will involve you, you will be marrying, will be Capricorn. Um, discipline, focus, and control. This is such a soothing thing, okay? Um, Virgo, wow, this is also soothing. thing. Virgo, analytical, kind, hardworking, and practical. Sagittarius, wow. Didn't I just say Sagittarius? So there's a strong earth energy. We miss out on Taurus, So, but it's still an earth energy. This person that you're marrying is going to be working hard. They're going to be very calm. They're also going to be calm person as well. They are going to be really, really um, making money a lot of money. They're gonna be making a lot of money for the family. They're gonna work hard. They're gonna build a family. They're gonna buy you a big house. They're gonna buy you a car. They're gonna like be really good husband. If you have this much strong earth energy in your future spouse that you are marrying, okay. So what else do they? He will be the helper and observer. So two motivated. Type 2 are motivated by supporting others. So this is like matching with this. Make an effort. So yeah, this person will be such a good dad or such a good mom. or They will be such a, you know, like in a loving um, energy. They are observer, curious, insightful. So it's like sectageous. Okay, now let's talk about sex. So if you are 18, below 18, please um, turn away so we can read about sex. Okay, what do you have? You have um knave of Sharis and you have Knight of Pentacle and then you have Ten of Pentacle and you have the Hermit. So definitely for the sex energy. I feel like you got a Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is always the best. So he or your future spouse probably is going to be really good in bed. They're going to spoil you rotten in bed. They're going to like 
anything you want if you know you like anything you like in bed they're gonna like try to like make you happy you just need to tell them okay you just need to tell them and they're gonna make you super happy in bed um i feel like they're gonna treat you like queen i already tell you that so ten of pentacle definitely you're gonna have a prosperous life and you're gonna have prosperous sex energy as well nine of pentacle i feel like they're gonna work really hard to get you to be really happy in bed and i feel like um they're gonna be a little bit stalkerish as well it's not only you who jealous okay they will be really jealous because you probably are really beautiful woman you probably a really sexually beautiful woman like that a lot of guys want and i feel like they're gonna work really hard to get you and when they marriage with you the sex will still be amazing because you're still gonna look awesome after marriage you're gonna be like you know some people who already like 40 and 50 but they still still look beautiful and awesome like so hot you're gonna be like that and you're gonna still turn them on every time and i feel like see like you got like the knife of charis so definitely you could like he gonna be working hard like your spouse gonna be working hard at the office trying to get all the money to come back you know like i feel like at the beginning of the marriage they might not come home to have sexual relationship with you much that's that's why you may be like a little bit frustrated at home a little bit because you've you have a really high urge in sex i feel like you have a really high urge in sex and i feel like in the beginning of marriage you might not have that and you might feel a little bit left out by him but don't be because he's just like at like at the office working hard trying to build his career so he can be the king he can give you everything that you want okay and i feel like um Sometimes you might also feel like I feel like maybe he also like a missionary position as well. I feel like it's not like he likes it, but you guys have that a lot. Like you probably have a lot of missionary um, position. You probably not that adventurous in sex. I feel like it's not like that, but I feel like you just you just want to have like a normal situation sex like you know some people want adventurous sex they just want to have sex on the beach sex in the waterfall sex in uh blah 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 blah. but like for you you just want a normal happy sex at home and i feel like um be careful at the end of your relationship i, I mean not the end of yours but like during like when you uh, getting a little bit older i feel like you need to spice up in like a loving relationship as well because i feel like towards the end of the marriage or not the end of the marriage but like when you got older i feel like you were starting to feel like you don't want sex like i have a feeling of you just like putting off sex all the time because maybe you have kids and you have like a lot of things to do on your list and when like your husband or your spouse want to come and have sex with you you feel like oh i'm so tired can we sleep tonight <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah if if your spouse really loves sex because of course it's Sus, right so Sus probably loves sex so be careful on that like trying to monitor his or her feeling whether like if like for example if you're really tired maybe like just negotiate with them like three times a week sex or something like that because i feel like your spouse have a really high intense energy they are like so sexual they want to have sex with you all the time but like of course at the beginning you will want that but when you guys have children and stuff you starting to be like a little bit tired you'll be like oh can we have less um but i'm telling you you need to satisfy him or her on that because i feel like um that's might make him sad or might make your spouse sad if you cut the sex out of the relationship okay just try to um be more sexual um later on when you even though you're tired and stuff you know because you know some people have higher sexual energy than some people and like i feel like when you start to have kids and uh, like more busier work schedule you tend to forget that for your spouse so i feel like you need to like ramp that up a little bit because this energy is telling me that that you probably feel like oh i don't want to have sex or like i can have less <laughs> okay so but definitely he or your future spouse is like really really into it and you need to satisfy them and they just want to satisfy you okay they just want to if they like you know 
they probably like to go down on you. I feel like they like to go down on you. They like to please you. Like if you said you like doggy style, they'll be like, yes, I'm gonna do it for you. You know what I mean? Like they want to satisfy you because they love it when you moan. They love it when you like doing sexual sexy stuff and you're wearing lingerie that's so sexy like they love that so much like they like so high intense sexual energy okay and they love to look at you like sometimes you don't even have to have sex with them they, you just have to like be sexual about it like you just have to wear really sexy lingerie or you just have to be like surprise them when they come back home at work you know you like laying on the couch naked or semi naked they love that they love that woman to be sexy they love that woman to be sensual and if you forgot that after a while of marriage it will cause some problems so i'm urging you if you watch this remember that okay because this is gonna happen to you but definitely your man is working hard it's a like you know it's a manly man and they like so seems like a perfect husband i feel like but yeah it's just Keep yourself calm and be like queen and be like a priestess. Don't get um too emotional, like too emotional with the things that they do. Just be calm about it. Even though you feel emotional inside, just be calm about it. Like count from one to ten or something, you know, and stop yourself from like screaming at him or texting like your spouse very badly you know like just be calm about it because this energy is telling me like like to tell you. As a person, um, this group of pile of cards is like shouting to me so strongly to give you a warning on that. To be calm and still. Don't shout at your spouse. Don't be jealous. Be calm. Be like a queen. Be calm. Be like a priest. Be like a monk. Don't like give off the emotion that your spouse will feel like they want to run away. Yeah, like do that, and you are. Happy marriage gonna be super happy. You're like your marriage gonna be super happy because you got this card, the world card, and you even got pen of pentacle. You like you are sexually compatible for sure. You are sexually compatible with your spouse for sure. Okay, I love you guys so much. If you like this um quick God and Goddesses um reading, please let me know. Like I made this card especially for this reading, and uh and if you like my sexual uh tarot card, please let me know as well because this is the first time in my channel that I do this. I'm actually quite scared because like. Um, but I feel like love, like sex and love, is very important. It's go together, and if you don't have a good knowledge of sexual relationship, then you don't have a good marriage, okay? Or you don't have a good enough marriage together because we are animal. We need that sexual part in our life, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like my reading. And uh, I will see you next time. Please click like and subscribe and ring the bell to know of my new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, pile number two. Let's see which Greek god and goddess are you. Let's see. First is Ares. Though not seen in his own myth, Ares is the template of champion figure who live for conquest. As protector, he is fearless and never back down. He will place himself in harm way to protect the innocent without a second thought. He exists to fulfill his duty and will not be weighed down with details when not called to service. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Shadow, he lives for combat. There is no sense of duty, just the drive for physical enjoyment. He is the embodiment of a man who lives completely in his body rather than his heart or mind. When not engaged in combat, he can be found wallowing in alcohol and women. Since might not make right, he might entitled to whatever he can take by force. Foresight is not in his nature, he is prone to access. 
and for woman is hastier a nun is a characterized by her intense devotion and dedication to her path their work requires great focus includes not only spiritual path but artistic business pursuit shadow nun is removed from everybody reality introvert and self righteous the greek goddess of path was very devoted to her job as keeper of the internal flame she left her luxury and comfort for mount olympus so she could dedicate herself to the, this task okay and then Persephone, maiden. The maiden archetype represents purity and innocence of a child. Oh my God! I don't plan this. Okay, this is almost the same card. The nun and Persephone. She is also the purity of the innocence as well. Um. Okay, the innocence of a childhood. Where the soul dream magic make belief still prevail. Shadow maiden is very self-centered. All she dream is energy to expand it and achieve her own personal need and goals. For us, Persephone life embody the archetype. She remains internal on the curve between childhood and motherhood, trapping by the mother of love, her inability to fully assert her independence. Okay, another one is Poseidon, artist. Poseidon commit and create his own reality. The affair of the rest of the world don't matter unless it disturb him. His depth is as deep and dark as the ocean itself. He feel things very intensely and express it through his art. The shadow of Poseidon is that of abuser. This apply to him as well as others. His depth of emotion make him a likely candidate for dedication. His inability to express himself normally causes him to lash out on others, delight in other anguish. Wow, this is also similar to Aries. Even though they are totally different person. Okay, what else do you have? Nine of Cup. Ten of One, Queen of Cup, Five of Cup, Two of Pentacle, King of Pentacle, Six of Cup, Nine of One. This could be the one. You deserve love. Codependency. Adventure. Delight. Spider Woman co creation. In experience, oh my god! I'm telling you, I oh my god, I got goosebumps. I didn't plan this. I randomly picked this, and we have the same card. Oh my god, Persephone. That's so scary, guys. That's so scary. Okay, Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. Where should I put it? Okay, I should put it there. Okay, life is a mystery. Okay, first of all, before we talk about anything, we need to talk about you are God and Goddess. The reason I chose two each because I want to have like variety because everybody is different and uh, but. 
seems to be that this reading want to tell the same thing. Okay, so if you, you know, some people are like are related to more of a fire sign energy and some people are related more to the water energy. But the weird thing is that the reading of the meaning is almost the same because they are kind of the same people. Their heart is very, your spouse, their heart is very like, like, like a wave of emotion. It's like a fire of emotion. Like they go up and down with, with the wind. Like, you know, the wind changes, they change, you know. So even though they have a really opposite, like, energy, it's almost feel like they are the same person. Um, This could be that maybe your spouse is have a water, like some of you might have a water sign energy spouse or some of you might have a fire sign energy spouse. But most of the time, they actually most of the time is the same same but the feminine energy of this relationship okay the feminine energy of this relationship i feel like you guys are really like a virgin type i feel like you got married virgin type you are very um pure you probably some of you might not be having sex before marriage or some of you might be a virgin for a really long time or some of you might think of sex as a sacred thing you don't have a random sex you don't have one night stand you like don't like it um some of you are like really shy about this kind of stuff you don't want to talk about it some of you might be very um you know like when i was reading this the last word of this is she also never married and had children so you know at first i don't want to read this for you guys but like now it's coming to my head so i feel like i need to talk about it because maybe some of you are thinking that i feel like you know even though you like like come to this reading and want to know who you will be marrying right but maybe like some part of you not sure if you want to get married and have children and some part of you might want to just like it's okay if you, if you if you don't find someone that you really connected to you rather not marry okay you rather be alone with your gay friend or you rather like be with your parents and have or be with your sister or brother and already happy or you would rather be alone because I'll, like you rather adopt children you don't have you don't want your own kids or something like that because like no of course i was gonna skip it because i feel like i don't want to like you know everybody have love in their life and like have you that soulmate and that twin flame in this lifetime and i want everybody to find love and be happily married but i feel like if these people people but like you know i feel like the spirit is telling me to tell you to about this too because i guess some of you in this reading that pick this power you probably think that sometime as well and everything is gonna be okay as well even if you don't find anyone or even if you don't have children or something but for the people who they're destined and they law of attraction wanted someone want to have children want to have um husband wife blah 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 when get married i feel like you will be a kind of like an innocent person you will be like um i feel like you have to leave home because persephone her story is that like you know um hades really really like her so they you know he like he and her mom negotiate that persephone can come up onto earth like during spring summer so her mom can see her so i feel like that's like that aspect of you happening as well even hatis hatis i don't know if i say her name right but she's also leave mount olympus to be at the um to, to devoted her job to the keeper of the flame as well so like they both like the feminine energy that watching this you you might need to leave your home country or you might to leave might need to be far away from your parents or your origin for you to find love for you to be with the one you love for you to be able to be with the person that you meant to be married okay um that is that energy is coming that way as well and i feel like um yeah definitely your guy the person you are marrying they either be like the artist person like the soft like a soft artistic type or like a sporty very spotty love sport like to like um 
go and run like to go to gym blah 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 like you know like they they either like there's two like there's two group of people that you will find okay either which one you like is up to you okay but that emotion will be the same they'll be like like get so angry so fast but then they get back on track easy as well like if you just give them food or something like that you know like they their emotion is go up and down so high but their profession is like either doing something really creative or doing something very sporty or or their hobby can be that like they probably like scuba diving they probably love doing something with like water sport or they probably like love doing like sport like any kind of sport okay but like there will be a people of you that like have a person that you married they will love the water i feel like maybe you are kind of like come like you also maybe like love like mermaid and like water stuff as well you might you might like little mermaid or something like that like you know or like the aquaman you probably love that movie okay so it's kind of like a water you are really similar to water or the person that you are marrying might be coming from water energy like uh, water places like an island like maybe his hometown he was born on an island on in hawaii or like or somewhere like uh, san Franc like you know somewhere san francisco where it's like near the water or like japan you know like somewhere that's surrounded by water maybe he or like your spouse your future spouse is from there from the places where it's near water or their country is like around by surrounded by water or something like that or it could be that your spouse is like uh, coming from the place where it's really hot because Aries is like like a fire fire side energy a little bit so maybe like they come from hot country or volcanic volcano volcano country like hawaii hawaii is a perfect example because they have volcano activity as well, and also japan and san francisco oh my god i've already said all the all the cities that is surrounded by volcano and also um water okay but it doesn't have to be okay i'm just saying like it could be a sign for you to see when you meet a guy you could see oh this person come from this kind of area and i watched dear before and she told me that okay so he, he might be the one that you might marry okay and watch out for water sign energy and fire sign energy as well okay so the life that you will have after marriage i feel like um he when he likes you when your spouse like you they will be like um really attacking like i feel like they're gonna come towards you and giving you some kind of like assurance that they like you okay they will work really hard to get you because i feel like you are this precious thing you are this precious precious uh like a like you know like a baby deer like a bambi they feel like you are like a bambi to them they feel like you are like this cute cuddly animal peel like they think of you as the peel priestess like they think of you as the, as the like um virgin mary like they they think you are so delicate okay so that's why they wanted to work hard to get you but actually in reality you are not you are just you just look like that you just look like you are innocent but actually you are a very strong person you might be a little bit emotional but you are actually like really strong you want to be entrepreneur you want to build something for yourself blah, blah blah like all those girl boss thing but like if if they wanted you to be a housewife you you don't mind that as well you'll be like yeah it's okay i can be housewife i love kids okay but i feel like like for you to get to be together with them is very hard um uh, I feel like yeah like I told you like there's gonna be a long distance thing there's gonna be uh, some kind of like thing that they have to fight through even if after marriage I feel like after marriage he probably or like your spouse probably a really dedicated person okay they work really hard you work really hard but somehow you feel like you don't get that um, because you have this four of cups so let me like open one more card to really see what that energy is all about because i don't want to say something that's like really not nice because that card is not really nice for me um what's that energy about okay 
Okay, so I feel like that's gonna be a time after marriage, a little bit later on in the marriage, that he will feel like he don't get there, or your spouse feel that they don't get there for the like the place that they wanna be, and it's probably make them really stress. I feel like. I feel like they feel like no matter how hard they work, they don't achieve their goal yet, and make it it might affect your relationship a little bit. I feel like um, you gonna be the one who have to mother him a lot or mother your spouse a lot. I feel like uh, your spouse is like always wanting to achieve his or her goal, but I feel like you will be the one who helping this person to achieve their goal. Okay, so. I feel like I need to tell you that after marriage, you need to take care of his or her emotion a lot because I feel like they wanted to give a lot to the family. They want to build a really good family, and if you don't take care of their heart, they might don't have the energy to build for the family because I feel like they are the kind of person who. Who like a little bit in a depression mode a little bit sometimes, or they just like give up sometimes. If you are not the one who push him, he will have no energy to push to to get where he is. Okay, you are kind of like in my country, like we say, when there is an elephant. The woman is kind of like the back, the back leg of the elephant to push the elephant through, to push this elephant to forward. So you are really a key part of this situation to push him to get his success. Okay, because I can see his success. Okay, but I feel like he have the tendency to be very up and down in his emotion, and sometimes he feel like he cannot do it. And you like after marriage, you should be the one who like push him, okay? And I also feel like the person that you are dating right now, or the person that you in a serious relationship right now, could be the one that you are looking for in the marriage. Um, and also, I feel like he or sh or she, your spouse, will be really codependent on you. They need you to be like loving him a lot or loving her a lot, and you know. And you know, they wanted you to be very like a motherly to them because I feel like they have a really soft heart inside them. This is what they want. They want you to do. Okay, they want you to hug them, them a lot. I think like, yeah, I feel like they are really stressed after marriage because I feel like they don't reach their goal. Like they feel like they don't reach their goal, but they will. They will reach their goal. See this card. So they will be king. They will be king of cups. But on the way there, after marriage, it might be a struggle for you if you cannot read him because he will be hiding his emotion. Like like he's not good enough. He blah blah blah. So you need to like really like be the the strong the strong woman in the relationship to push him to his goal. Okay. That's his after marriage. Um, you have to be like mothering him a little bit, um, or you 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 could be like maybe you might be the one who who you might have higher salary than him. you might be the one who who get all the income inside the family. Who knows? Like I have a, this strong woman of strong feminine energy that you probably earn a lot too in the after marriage. I feel like after marriage you will find your passion, what you want to do in life, as a career or as a path, and you'll be very strong. You'll be very strong as a person. That's why, like I feel like you are. Spouses like really appreciate you a lot that they marry you, because they feel like without you, they probably gave up on things already, and they will love you so much because of that. Um, the type of your spouse will be the reformer and the loyalist. Reformer is type one, one who commit doing the right thing. They are careful and hardworking. They are motivated by dreams and improving their world, but they are afraid to make mistake. Yes, 
like they are afraid of something they have fears that they need to work on and you'll be the one who like be the strong the strong in the relationship to get him through that or her to that if, if you are thinking about girl the lawyer is sixes are reliable hardworking, responsible trustworthy so yeah you can definitely trust your spouse for sure you can trust them with anything they will not cheat on you they will not do like those kind of thing when they love someone they love them and they committed to them okay let's see the zodiac sign that will related to this is cancer gemini and leo so it's gonna be um water sign energy cancer scorpio and also pisces uh air energy gemini libra aquarius um fire energy aries um leo and also Sagittarius. this is gonna be the energy of your future spouse of greek and goddess okay let's look at the sexual side after marriage if you are 18 below um if your age is 18 and below or below 18 please click away because it's like a, this is an 18 plus stuff so yes let's see what sexual energy after marriage would be like two of sword Seven of Wands, Eight of Sword, Five of Sword. So, okay, definitely Two of Wands. Definitely, I feel like um they're gonna be after marriage. They're gonna be like I feel like it doesn't have to be after marriage. Okay, they already doing this before marriage. I feel like they like. Like they they like treat you like a princess like this one he give her flowers he's like i feel like they try really hard to like to like please you to like buy you stuff and you know make you to be happy person i feel like they wanted you to choose them because i feel like they feel so blessed to get you as a girlfriend to get you as a wife because i feel like they wanted like person like you for a long time so they like like you know after marriage like the sex or before marriage they when they have sex they do it very softly they do it very romantic like they, they love having romantic sex with you like sex under the candle sex like um where the, you know like some people have wild sex like like a like a, in the wild you know like a tribe like like a like rip your shirt off and stuff but like this person they don't do that they treat you like a princess they they don't rip your clothes off they like slowly take it off and like you know and even before that they love full play so much they always like doing a lot of full play before they do the actual sex so they like really romantic to you and um and I feel like secretly they love outdoor sex. I feel like secretly they want to have sex on the beach. Secretly they want to have sex in the forest. Secretly they want to have sex in the somewhere. Or maybe you want to have sex like that. Like I feel like you want to have like an exciting sex or a nature sex. Like uh, more like um in 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 the by the beach or like somewhere in the nature or like when you go camping together, you might want to have sex with them there or something like that. And the third one is, um, I feel like for Eight of Sword, I feel like um, they after marriage, you know, like when I uh, when I told you about how like sometimes they might feel after marriage that they don't achieve their goal, and I feel like when they become stressed they use sex as to release the st stress so like you know because normally they are really romantic type of person but if they start to have wild sex to you like very like rip your clothes and like push you into bed or something like that it's mean that they want to release something like they're probably really stressed about work that's why they have sex like that to you because they're just so stressed and so they they like do that to you like they push you onto the bed and like rip your clothes off and stuff like that that's when you can tell if they are stressed or not okay so and then it's five of sword i feel like um in the in the long run after like after the marriage for a while you will start to because i i'm i'm already saying to you that you are You are the nun. You are the 
the goddess of like virginity okay so i feel like at the beginning of your marriage or your dating life you probably very shy about having sex or you like not so confident about having sex but after for a while after marriage you started to become more confident like you starting to love him more you starting to I feel like he feels so. Oh, I mean, your spouse. Sorry, I keep saying he. I should say um, your future spouse because I like, uh, is a new uh, gender neutral. Okay, so your future spouse starting to feel more excited about sex with you. Like as time move on, I feel like you starting to be more confident about sexual, like your sexual body, your uh, sexual acts. So as time move on. I feel like you're starting to be more confident. You're starting to seduce him more, or you're starting to seduce your future spouse more. You're starting to lure them, have ex more exciting sex, and think of a new kind of sexual way, and that's make your future spouse feel so lucky to have you as a wife or as a husband, because like they feel like, oh my god, this is like a new thing. I never like you know she is getting or. My my spouse getting better, better, better. If, like as as like as time pass, like how come like they still surprise me with this kind of sexual stuff? Like you know they are, they like love having sex. As you get older, they love having sex to you even more, 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 more. Because I feel like it's because of you too. You have more confidence in yourself, so you like starting to attack them more. You starting to. Give them more ideas about the position, more variety about sex and stuff. So they make them feel so excited. Like they wanted to come home to see you all the time. Okay, they wanted to like come home and dump you. They want to have like a holiday with you so they can like dump you twenty four seven. Okay, they want to have like a staycation so they can like be with you twenty four seven because you're starting to get more confidence with your body and your sexual. Energy because like in the beginning of the relationship, you're still a little bit shy. You like a virgin, and or you like you don't sleep with a lot of people in your life, so you don't really know how to approach sex. But like as time passes, you're starting to be confident, and they love it. They love it so much, and uh, yes. I hope you like this reading, and if you like my sexual card, please let me know as well. Like I like try not to like read this, but I feel like, because like you know, there's gonna be like younger than eighteen watching sometimes in YouTube. But I will click that bottom that you cannot like if you are younger, you cannot watch. But the things that like like I get shy too when I talk about this sexual stuff. But I mean, I feel like sex is very important for a relationship, especially if you want to know about love and relationship. If you don't have a good sexual connection and communication in terms of sexual way, it's gonna be very problematic for the relationship. Okay, if you don't have a good communication in sexual way, and I want you to have that, my viewer. I want you to be the best virgin ever. You, you. I want you to be a really professional virgin, professional at sex virgin. You gonna be the virgin that. Know everything about sex and capture, captivate your future spouse so they feel like oh my god, she's she or he is so awesome. Okay, I want you to be that. That's why like I want to read this card for you because I I feel like especially with God and Goddess, it's very important that you have that because we still an animal. We still have an animal instinct and sex is the animal instinct in us. So if we don't have a good sexual relationship, then we are don't have nothing about relationship. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please click like and subscribe. If you and if you have any suggestion, please let me know. Um, and if you like this um Greek god and god theme, please let me know as well because I just wanna like. Have fun with you guys and like you know pick this out because I love all the goddess and god, and uh, I love you guys so much and see you next time. Bye. Hello, pound number three. Let's see which Greek god and goddess are you or is who are you marrying? Which Greek god and goddess you are marrying? Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm excited. I really wanna pick this kind of card too. Maybe like in another two months, I will come back and pick my own video or something like that, so I can know which Greek god and goddess is my future spouse that who will I be marrying. Okay, first is 
Aphrodite is a lover. Wow. This, if you are a girl, this is representing you, okay? Aphrodite is lover, representing passion, selflessness, devotion to other people. Devotion to other person is also extend to things that make our hearts sing, like music, art, and nature. The shadow aspect is obsession, passion that completely take over our life, and negativity impact on health and well being. Aphrodite is a Greek goddess of love, a perfect example of lover archetype. The second girl is Artemis, a masoner. You must be firecracker. You also have strong protective instinct, drawn to environmentalism, animal and human rights, and especially women rights. She is fearless, strong, athletic, adventure, useful, quick tempered, shadow side, fear and disgust caused by bad past experience could be preventing you from exploring sexuality and destroy the environment around them. Okay, for the guy who you be marrying, Hades, whoa, the scientist, Hades has at his disposal all the knowledge that ever was since all things eventually wind up in his kingdom. He is also the only god who run is always expanding. Hades is another god that lives in his own world. His is based on fact and knowledge. He is mad scientist and the sage. Research and knowledge are his primary concern, interrupt occasionally by intense loneliness. The shadow side, when moved to vengeance, he, he uses all knowledge at his disposal to plot and careful revenge. When anger, it is not obvious since he will take every bit of information into account before deciding his course of action by manipulating information his power of assault seem almost magical he is not upfront but instead employed subterfuge and stealth another one is diagnosis the seducer for loving sensual man who can't relate to masculine pastime but reveal in the company of women who helps the woman and realize their own worth. Although the diagnosis himself often feel flawed and may never find perfect woman he seek. Promiscuity, obsession, jealousy, envy, this is his shadow side. Need to devote the object of love to destroy. Okay, let's see what card do you have for this? The Templin. Page of One. The Shadow Side. Three of Pentacle. The world. <laughs> King of One. <laughs> Nine of Pentacle. Nine of Cup It's safe for you to love Trust Let go of control and trust your love
finance and Korea. Intuition. Miracle. Be spirit. Dog spirit. Be loyal and do what you love. Divine wisdom. Sophia. The future. Okay, part number three. Let's talk about. You are goddess and God. So, guys, definitely, I feel like um, Artemis and Aphrodite is totally, totally different kind of people. Okay, but the thing that they have is confidence because this confidence within you, your the feminine energy. Um, for the people who are reading this as a feminine. I feel like you guys are really in touch with your feminine side. You are very confident about yourself. You are very confident about self. One side of you, you are a such a lover. You are a seductive person. I feel like you, you can be very. Um, I feel like you can have that uh innocent charm. You are have a innocent innocent charm about you. You have an innocent look about you, but you have that seductive side. I feel like you have that seductiveness that guys want, that your spouses want, and I feel like um with that you also have the warrior side within you because you are a a Masonian person. You know, the Amazon person is kind of like you know um Wonder Girl. You know um. Wonder Woman. I mean, <laughs> not girl. Wonder Woman. But if you are not a woman yet, you are still a girl in high school. Yeah, you are those Wonder Girl, Wonder Woman person. You are. I feel like you could be a really good at sport as well. And I feel like um the thing that Artemis and Aphrodite have in common is that they are very confident with their body, with their self image. I feel like um. Even if you are not, I feel like you have a confidence in your own voice. I feel like you believe in what you say. I feel like, you know, that's very um, very attractive for a guy. And I feel like the person that you are marrying, they are really uh, similar to you as well. They are very a uh, seductive person in terms of that. You know, Haiti is like um the reason I choose this image um not like a crazy. Old guy in the cave or something like that because I feel like the power of the dark darkness, the power of death, the power of the dark is so mysterious, is so seductive. Okay, same as diagnosis, like you know, like um the power of fun and like you know, like I feel like the person that you are marrying, they are very seductive as well. I feel like they are very. I can say that some of you might have a boyfriend or a future spouse that might have a a tattoo as well, like a biker type. You know, like those people who are very sure of themselves. They they very confident. They put a tattoo on them saying "believe" or "fly" or you know, like those kind of like really confident person. And they have a motto in life, and you know they are very confident in term of they are just. If they like someone, they be able to just go straight up to them and talk to them. You know, they're not afraid to seduce or to flirt or to say, "I think you are beautiful. Let's go on a date." I feel like your spouse are like that. Your spouse are really confident like that. And you know, like when you first met them, you probably think that they are such a player as well. Um, you probably think that oh, they are such a dangerous guy. Like you know, I feel like like you feel like they are very dangerous to be a boyfriend or uh, be your. Spouse because they kind of like a flirty and kind of like a fuck boy type, but actually deep down inside when they like someone, when they choose someone, they really choose them. I feel like this is an energy of a Scorpio as well. I feel like a lot of like you know Scorpio are more like a Hades energy. They are very dark and mysterious and very seductive. That's why in tarot card they got the representation card of death because they are like death, like Hades. They are very beginning of a new thing. 
like the end of a new new of an end like a new of a cycle the ending of the cycle the, the starting over so Hades is the same thing so I feel like your future spouse you will marry will be like Hades and Dionysus like they will be very confidential about themselves they were, will be very mysterious but they still will have fun with you um and they're very jealous as well they could be a really jealous person they probably don't like you hanging out with opposite sex or something like that or they probably like want you to delete all your exes from their mobile phone from your mobile phone or something like they're really that um protective of you and you know i feel like uh, you guys gonna be like complimenting each other really well because for you you also like can get in touch with your uh, inner depth of yourself i feel like both of you when you get to know each other you don't want to show all your cards i feel like you both like really keep your card up to your chest but when you really open that card when you really connected to each other you really connected you show everything you know everything about them you feel them passionately sometimes like you don't even have to leave close each other you already feel that inside you already feel that passion okay so that's like a brief information about these god and goddesses so yes it's up to you which um goddess you can relate it to because artemis will probably be more adventurer type be my, more like sectarious person and aphrodite will be like a venus like you know she's very very feminine like she have a lot of feminine side on her and she'll probably be like um more like uh like leo pisces like no like more like a pisces energy for me or maybe more like a like a aries um or like a like a libra energy with them i feel like they are exuse like a beauty within them and they really connected to their spiritual side as same as the sectarius as well so but you don't have to be that sign but i just representing you the the zodiac sign if you already know your zodiac sign what they are like it will be easier for you to um, connect with this reading when i say to you so after marriage what will you be like when you marry this goddess or oh god so i feel like at the beginning of, of your after your marriage after the wedding it will be like a really happy time i feel like you're gonna go and travel a lot you're gonna go and you're gonna share everything you're gonna be like communicating really well and i feel like you might get to have um, a baby really soon i feel like you might uh, have a baby like like maybe a year or two after the marriage okay you like you have baby quite um fast and i feel like this baby is a new change for you i feel like this um it might not be a baby baby in representation you might create a project together or you might work together or he or she might help you on your start of your new business or you might like like maybe or you build a house together like you create some new like a new birth together you know after you enjoy the honeymoon after you enjoy traveling together for one year and you know like i feel like this new beginning will be the beginning that you gonna work hard together to to achieve in your life after you wed each other you know and i also feel like um i also want to like warn you about the shadow side as well so i feel like um of course because you have hades as your uh, future spouse right he or your spouse he or she have a shadow side within them i feel like they have a trust issue i feel like maybe they feel like they, they it's very hard even though they married you right but i feel like they they still have a trust with issue within them and i don't know why but like during uh, when time passed when the honeymoon periods finished like maybe like two or three years into the marriage of five like your spouse like starting to have like those mid midlife crisis i feel like the strong emotion of midlife crisis that maybe it might be hard for you to get through with him or her and uh i feel like um 
it's either you or your spouse is gonna have those trust issues that bubbling up again okay because like i feel like in this lifetime you and him or you and your spouse supposed to help each other with this trust issue i feel like you need to heal that within your like own energy of soul i feel like this trust issue is very important for you to build toward the next step of your relationship I feel like your card is, doesn't tell me that much about your marriage or it's only talk about work and finance and career but I want to know about your relationship with him or her okay so I'm gonna open more card for you because like I feel like there's something more that I can tell you about your relationship with him or her Because only what I see is that like after you guys have baby or after you guys have a project together, he or she, your spouse will be focusing on work quite hard quite a lot and it's almost feel like they like neglecting you or something like that. That's why like, I want to open more card. Okay. So, okay. So definitely i feel like probably like as you go into a relationship um like during the beginning for the two two or three years or maybe five i feel like you're gonna have a really happy marriage like you're gonna be like everything go well everything so happy and hunky dory but like when you when like the marriage starting to get longer like longer than five years or maybe three years i feel like like the project or the new thing that you start together starting to affect your relationship okay and i feel like um the only way for you to make this relationship like become smoother so like you don't have this image within your life after marriage is that you need to be your spouse guiding star okay i feel like um like he or she will have this midlife crisis and they're gonna feel like like their career is not in the right place they're not like like they're already 40 but they just don't reach the goal yet or some kind of like this like um self-doubting about themselves and you need to be the guiding star you know you need to be the sun to them you need to like help them to prevent all this negative negative thoughts towards them okay because i feel like um you know that i don't like to read about like negative stuff okay but i feel like your spouse definitely gonna feel that like because this like this shadow card when i get it is more about like past karma it's about like like uh past even past life karma and i feel like it's involved with trusting trust issue or trust in himself or trust in herself you know like this energy will come into like life after marriage about like three or five years after um that's why i want to like urge you to like really after that time period have passed you need to like really like um recognizing that your spouse is feeling the pain okay because i feel like or maybe it's you that feeling the pain but i have a more energy of your spouse that they are feeling that pain that trust issue that trust in themselves that trusting about finance and career is more like everything that's like a problem is more about financing and career maybe they change their job or maybe they like you know like do something new that affected um, their financial and career or their life as a whole make them doubtful about their life and you like you will be the one like i feel like you're gonna be the one who helped them to guide away to be the shield to help them to get through that midlife crisis or that um, energy that they are they are not believing in it themselves because i feel like they are not be like they will become that person eventually i maybe i feel like maybe they don't reach the goal that they have set or when they look around them i feel like they just feel like they they, they don't want to fight anymore um you know like just be careful about that um but all in all i feel like 
see like this card is is safe for you to love so i feel like you will be the one who make make sure that you can always be their home that they can come back home too so um but if you ask me whether your spouse will be successful of course they will be successful because they have pink king of one they will be very successful they probably enjoy entertainment they probably enjoy relaxing but i just want to be like you know for you to be careful after five or maybe three years for you to really like concentrate on um guiding him into the right direction if he feel depressed you should like guide him to go to see the doctor or guide her to go and see the doctor to like have a talk to the therapist or maybe you could go with them or something like that because i feel like they have that shadow side that they need to be healed because they are hades and diagnosis like you know that shadow side is like um jealousy envy and you know like the all those um thing that like you know you shouldn't have if you have a strong relationship but i feel like it's more about them it's not about you i don't think you are like a flirty person or anything before everything can be happy again because i can see happy card here but you have to be their their son and their, their son and their star okay also i have a feeling that you might have a boy first as well okay so but it, you don't have to have but like i feel like a strong boy energy um son you are gonna have a son first so yeah um so like just just guide him be the light of his heart because you like um you really help him through that because like if you left him alone or you don't notice your spouse in the long run it will affect your marriage okay it will affect your marriage for sure and i don't want you to like have a really bad like um traumatized um marriage life okay because at the beginning you guys are so happy i can see so many happy heart but i feel like there's a midlife crisis that might um affect your relationship if you're past that it's gonna be happy again you can be like his shining light okay okay let me read other cards as well let me read like his or her personality peacemaker and a shiver see and a shiver and a peacemaker so i feel like um this person is normally really peaceful person okay this person is normally this your spouse is very peaceful person but this midlife crisis or something that happened to him in the in the middle of the marriage life it's like making like i think it's more about his career and finance that's why you have an achiever because they might try to achieve something that impossible and they feel like it's taking them long time to get that and make them feel they are doubting themselves they feel like they are not good enough um also i want to tell you the zodiac sign as well taurus aries and aquarius so like that's like three signs so taurus um earth energy capricorn taurus and also virgo aries sagittarius and leo and um si is aquarius libra and also um gemini um i don't i'm not surprised that you have an aries because hades is a lot of fires and taurus is very um money focus because you have financial and career so like your spouse is very like a high achiever person so that's why like after marriage when he's not success in something or she not success in something they become very stressed so if you are there to help them to guide them to their future like happiness they like you will have a better like better relationship with your spouse but i mean at the beginning of the wedding like after the wedding two three year five years it's gonna be happy maybe even 10 years like it's like i don't know like you know maybe some people married like when they were like 70 or like 18 or something but like um when they have midlife crisis or in the middle of your your marriage life your spouse gonna feel that and you need to be the one who like like help like be the light to his darkness okay you need to be like the aphrodite to his hades okay be the light or be the atomist because atomist is like the goddess of the moon too be the moon to shine on him or her so they can like get through that darkness within them okay okay let's look at your sexual side like um so if you are 18 below please look away or um pause or something or 
you know, click away because I'm gonna talk about sexual stuff. So 18 plus only. So judgment and three of one, queen of one, king of one. Oh, you have king of one again. Okay, so for your for your sexual relationship, I feel like after marriage, um, like I said, you're gonna have a baby boy soon after. See, there's a boy there. Definitely, you're gonna have kids really soon, and that kid, that pressure of um finance, will kind of like making. Uh, him or her very stressed about future life because I feel like they feel like they're not ready or they feel like they need to cultivate more money for their kids to get a better school, get a better education, get a better everything. So that's why they become very stressed and it could affect your relationship in bed. But yeah, so but if you don't want to have um babies soon after marriage, just use a lot of protection because I can feel that you're gonna have a baby pretty soon after your marriage. Um but soon I said maybe like it can be one, two, three years. That's soon for me, okay? So um also I feel like you have three of one. So definitely I feel like um there's gonna be like a really passionate love. I feel like uh, you definitely gonna be the light of his light. I feel like you're gonna be the one who guiding him in even sex. I feel like he or your spiritual spouse that you marriage maybe lose a uh, sexual appetite after after like that project or that kid that you have, I feel like he or she, your future spouse that you married will lose the sexual appetite and you will be the one that have to start it. You, you'll be the one who have to seduce them. You'll be the one who ignite that passion of love again. I feel like um, you're going to be the one who initiating the love, okay? You got queen of one and king of one. So a really strong fire sign energy, okay? So if you have fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, I feel like this is really your reading because I feel like, um, you know, after all the things that I talk about, you helping him through or her through from the, his darkness, everything will be happy again. See this couple, you guys gonna have really good sex. Like sometimes you don't even have to have sex. I feel like you're gonna be like cuddling in bed and already feel the love from him or her. You will be like cuddling, kissing. Like you don't even have to have intercourse. You already feel so much love from them. Because after all the trauma that you guys went through together, it's making your bond stronger. Like you don't even have to have sex. You still become very happy in bed together. You know, like um, if you are not the one who like initiating sex, I feel like you needed to in this relationship because I feel like your spouse will some kind of way lose the sexual appetite somehow from his hardship during the day during when he like work hard finance and career and he kind of like it's not like he don't want to have sex with you or she doesn't want to have sex with you but they just like feel so drained by all the outside energy that draining them from work from like the kids from the mortgage from blah 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 so if you don't ignite that fire within him he will like just go to sleep watch like just go to have a shower and go to sleep they will not think about sex so i feel like you really need you really need to ignite that sexual intention and i feel like they probably like to have sex like outside as well they probably like to like to have sex when it's dangerous like they probably like when you do like a foot tea with them you know like when you sit in a restaurant and you like gliding their legs and you know like trying to get that attention or when when you like 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 wink at him and like see and then like whisper to him like see you in the toilet and then like you go and have sex in the toilet or or like you really want to have my high sex like you want to have like sex on, on a plane or you know like somewhere where it's like people can caught you or people can like um can just like sneak up with like you like dangerous sex like not dangerous but like the sex that in public like you know like you like to have pda you like to hold his hand or her hand you like to like kiss in public and you know like um 
either you like that or your spouse like that and i feel like this gonna make them feel even more love i feel like the pda aspect of this relationship make them so happy i feel like like i feel like i don't even have to read about sex for you guys because i feel like they love you with even if even without sex i feel like this is very special because you know hades like when you have hades energy the scorpio energy i feel like you needed sex but like apparently not like apparently like you know like you might be the one who craving sex more than him or more than your spouse i feel like you have a higher energy of sexual wanting than this person and like um and don't don't be scared to seduce them don't be scared to be the one who start everything because i feel like they like it they like that um a girl or you make the, the first move in terms of sex in terms of pda in terms of you know like touching them they love the touch they love the hug they love hugging you i feel like they love hugging you they just want to touch you just want to lay in bed naked with you and hug you and that's make feel they feel like their depression gone their darkness is gone they feel like they're hugging the shining light that clean their soul or something like that okay if you like my reading please click like and subscribe if you like my sexual card reading please let me know as well because like i'm too sh like really shy to read about this thing but i mean it's, i think it's very important in like especially we read about um greek god and goddess there's super high sexual people goddess god so i want i want to use this card for you as well and uh let me know if you like my greek god and god theme and like if you have other theme suggestion you can let me know as well recently i did um about halloween theme so it's more monster and stuff like that if you have any suggestion please let me know and i love you guys so much please click like and subscribe and ring a bell if you want to know of my new video i'll see you next time bye okay guys last part with amethyst let's see what's your greek god and goddess are you or who is who are you marrying which greek god and goddess are you marrying Athena diplomat a diplomat archetype is able to meditate between different group as they are able to quickly assess the situation understanding both side points of view helping them to find a middle ground upon which they can be agreed the shadow diplomat manipulated both sides to achieve their own personal agenda Demeter, loving mother, a life giver, and the source of nurturing, devotion, patience, and unconditional love. The ability to forgive and provide for her children and put them before herself. She is an additional and earth goddess, bringing life to the plants and crops each spring. Shadow side aspect of mother can be devouring, abusive, abandonment. The shadow mother can also make her children feel guilty about becoming independent and leaving her. Okay, for the god is Apollo, businessman. Apollo is the image of prince who is in training to become king. He is quick and sharp in his reasoning. His every movement is precious. He is a bringer of light of truth and seek to know all pertinent information shadow. When the opportunity to move forward present itself, words like like royalty and betrayal don't exist. There is simply royalty of what should be done to assure overall success regardless of who suffers. What we call the ultimate act of betrayal was ultimately just a business decision. Wow, Apollo. Okay, let's see what um, tarot card do you have. Three of one. The Justice. Nine of Cup. The Empress. Six of Sword, Page of Pentacle, Seven of Cup, 
the hermit. Stay optimist. Wedding. Wow. Deception. Pirate spirit. Watch your word. Wombat spirit. Be at home. Um. Awareness. Innocent transformation and uh, time. Okay. Okay, guys. So let me talk about your Greek god and goddesses first. Um, I don't have enough, so one of the pal have less Greek god, but you got Apollo, which is a really good one. Okay, they they are businessmen. They are very focused on their career. They really like to um, aim high. They want to achieve their goal. They're probably an entrepreneur as well. Or if they're not, they're probably aiming to be a manager, high high rank manager, or like a CEO. Or you know, like they they aim high for their career. And you know, like for Athena, for feminine energy, I feel like you're gonna be really successful in your own right as well you're gonna be very loving you're gonna be mothery so weird that you got like the empress which is epiphany of a mother card with a loving mother so you're gonna be a really awesome mom you're gonna be an awesome parents you're gonna be really good parents you're gonna take care of your kids you're gonna you know like love them I mean so much i mean all parents love kids unlimited right but i feel like you're gonna want to be around your kids all the time you're gonna want to baby them you're gonna want to cook them you're gonna bath them you want to like them to stay forever or if not then you want to like they don't want they don't want you like you don't want them to move out or you want to like stay close to them if they move out you know what i mean like you are like really loving you're gonna be really loving parents for your spouse that you're gonna be marrying they will also be like that too but they're gonna be more focused on korea they're gonna be very sharp they're gonna be really smart they're gonna be like you know very witty as well they're gonna like have like 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 jokes that like make everybody laugh but they're really really smart person and i feel like they want to aim high in their life and you know they also want a, a girl or a spouse like your spouse Spouse want a partner that a high achiever like them as well. Like Athena, you know, she's very um a high rank princess, um, you know, like goddess in because like I feel I I read a story that Zeus love Athena the most. So I feel like yes, um, you know, like like they wanted like a like queen, they want like a high princess, they wanted like you know the, the top rank uh like partner in their life that match them okay they really want that and i know like in the greek god they are like sister brother but i mean this is just the in energy of their energy only okay and i feel like uh you might have a lot of children as well i feel like you probably might have quite a bit of children um, when you married, okay, probably more than two. Like you don't definitely you don't not gonna have one children. You're gonna have more than two children, because you you guys are really um. What is it? Very fertile. Yeah, you are very fertile people, and I feel like your marriage is gonna be really happy. I feel like at the beginning of the marriage, it might get some used to i feel like some of you even though you already married you might have to live quite far away from each other or you might have to leave home or you might have to like live far away from your parents or you might have to live far away from your where you originally originally where you originally born you have to like cross the river cross the sea to be with your partner with your people that you are married okay and i feel like after marriage i feel like uh you gonna still feel like um a little bit like uncomfortable about this marriage situation i feel like um you got the justice so there might be some legal stuff that you need to go through maybe 
the reason maybe you are not from the same country as your spouse so you need to like for example if you marry to uh, an american you probably need to wait for a green card or something like that you know like you need to do a lot of paperwork to get this marriage go through or maybe uh your spouse family might or your spouse might want a, a, a prenup or or like a, a really long contract before you get married or something like that or or maybe you might need to do legal stuff like there's some legal stuff that happening to you after marriage maybe uh you might need to go to like uh, court or something like i don't know but it's also like if you are if, if you are not in that category i also feel like in your relationship that's gonna be a balance like i feel like uh, maybe you're gonna um putting in same income or or maybe like like there's a lot of balancing act in your situation after marriage maybe maybe it's really harmonious relationship i feel like you know the difficult part of your marriage is gonna be during the beginning of the relationship and when i say difficult it's not even difficult it's more about like balancing your energy to each other like you know sometimes you don't live together or you never marry marrying each other before like you never become a wife or a husband before so it's take time to adjust say, take time to say oh you're the one who should drive the kids you're the one who should take them to a uh, sport or you're the one who should go and buy their stuff for school like or you're the one who should cook or you're the one should cook them from Friday to to Monday, or you're the one who like do snack on weekend. You know, like it's like the beginning of the relationship is more after marriage is more about balancing act. Like, or you're the one who should like think about tax. You're the one who should calculating about tax, or you're the one who should do the the clothes and I will do the dishes. You know, like those kind of balancing act. Like, um. Uh, in your relationship so it become harmonious and i can see very harmonious life i feel like um in the middle of your marriage you'll be like a lot of activity in terms of weddings and um not like that um i mean events and um it could be that your children is got married really early as well i feel like yeah it could be that like because you have this card like you know maybe one of your children go up so fast and they got married really fast or something like there's a lot of celebration within your family you always get together with your uh family or your like relative and stuff like that you know there's always a lot of partying happening in your house and or maybe like your spouse always take you to like a lot of parties but not like a you know clubbing party it's more like a gathering of friends and family you guys always like oh let's meet this christmas let me this halloween let's hang out together you know like i feel a really big close knit group of family like together together now it's like i feel i can feel the clanking of you know the glasses the eating spoon fall and like the happy talking chit chat to each other like i can hear that now i can hear that from your like from your future okay i can hear that i feel like your relationship is so good like you will be the mothering type like if you are a girl watching this you are you will be a mother in time but if you are boy watching this you'll be like a really good father you will be like really good father and i feel like you guys if you guys want to achieve dream together you will you will give really good education to your children okay i feel like you are moving toward the same direction i feel like you are moving toward like a really good transformation i feel like after marriage your life is even gonna be better than before you get married okay i feel like you're gonna be so happy you're gonna feel so lucky that you married this person because like i feel like you're gonna transform so much after this marriage like you're gonna transform into a mother you're gonna transform into a wife a really good one a really good mother or a really good father if you are a guy watching this a really good husband you know you're gonna be that you're gonna transform in your life so much when you look back you never thought that you would become this person this mature person who can take care of other people okay you become so wise at your own age um you know when i look at this i when i look at this i don't want you to be scared of this deception 
card because like I feel like your life is gonna be really happy. The deception will be that will be more of like um maybe I I have a feeling that your spouse might have a dream that they want to achieve. Maybe a dream that they have even before they got married to you, okay? And I feel like maybe uh because they're so busy with the marriage life with you, they t like they like when they look back, they they forget, they forget that they have that dream, and they might not tell that to you because they're scared like you will react something, and so they like been g going away secretly to do their own dream. Like for example, they if they would dream to be a golfer, and they just like want have time to go and play golf with their friends. They probably like hide that from you. They probably like secretly go out because like because if you know, you probably like no. You should come home and help to cook or help to take care of the kids. But sometimes they need that space. I feel like there's something like that they dream of. Like for example, maybe they hide away the money so they can invest on their beer business or something like that or their candy business because they always want to have a candy shop or they always want a cafe they always want to open a cafe so they hide the money from you and they like and suddenly you found out like it's it's gonna be like that kind of deception i don't see it's like a love affair or something like i don't see that i feel like more like a like their secret like they have secret dreams and they, they will hide that from you so i feel like you need to communicate with them that it's okay like if you want to have your dream you can tell me you need to be like really peaceful about it if they want to pursue that dream that you maybe you don't think is a good idea but you need to be calm about it because if not they're gonna hide that from you and they're gonna still gonna do it they're gonna still do it and i feel like you're gonna be a really cute grandma i can see like a oh, grandpa i already can see you smiling at your grandkids because i feel like you're gonna have a really big family in the future okay or if not it's gonna be a very neat tight knit family that you're gonna so appreciating that you have this life like looking back on your family as a whole okay this transformation of you being a husband or a wife or a mother or a father it transformed your life so much that it's kind of like your life in your path in life even i feel like this could be your path in life like you know like people think about career mostly when they say what is my path in life but for you i can feel that like not only like that it's it's like it's about like family it's about like you know being very wise in the future okay I mean, being very, you know, like grandpa, grandma, they're really smart. They can like guide their children and their grandchildren and stuff like that. I can see that from you because like, see this card, even though it's, this is a hermit card, but I have a feeling it's not like you want to get away from your parent. Like, it's not like you want to get away from your spouse. It's more like you become wise old person. You become a wise old man. You become a wise old woman at the end of this marriage life i want to give you a personality type first enthusiastic challenger so this person you are the one you are marrying they will be really enthusiastic like same as apollo they were if they like any business they will go for it if they want to uh, even if they want to know how, how to learn how to drive uh, how to ride a helicopter they will go and learn it if they want to like uh, learn how to uh, ski they will just go go for it you know like they are really enthusiastic person and a challenger I feel like they very con like confident strong assertive so they are really confident person okay your spouse and the uh, astrology energy you have Libra that's why you got the justice so your spouse probably might have a libra or si energy um libra aquarius and gemini scorpio water water so like really strong water energy so scorpio pisces and cancer so they're gonna be this energy okay okay now let's read read about the sexual thing the devil wow it's the same doesn't be scary because it's scorpio is the devil card okay so definitely really strong scorpio energy ace of charis knight of charis 
three of sword. Okay, you got three of sword. Hmm, that's curious. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys. So if, let's look at the devil card. So I feel like they probably have a really big, you know, big uh, sexual organs. I feel like they could have that, um, because this card is like, representing on here, and they love sex so much. I feel like you first day that you meet them, they probably think of you sexually. And the get go, they wanna have sex with you already. They wanna like have one night stand with you already. I mean, not one night stand, but they wanna see you more. But they like really love having sex with you. I feel like the decision that they made to marry you is because they never have sex like like this with anyone. I feel like that's why. Like that's why they make like. I mean, of course, there's so many good qualities as you have, right? But I feel like sex is one of them that they like about you so much. They love having sex with you. They like they and actually your spouse satisfy you a lot in terms of sex as well. And I feel like um. I feel like like that that sex is not it's not like wild. I feel like they're really romantic type person. I feel like they want to make love to you. They don't want to have sex. They wanna make love. They wanna set the mood. They want to like take. I feel like they likes to take you on a holiday or somewhere else so they can have like a really romantic sex with you. You know, like somewhere very romantic, like countryside or like somewhere very like romantic. They they want a romantic sex with you and i feel like they they just want to be in bed with you all the time i feel like they just like you know like i have a feeling they like morning sex as well i feel like they like morning sex they love morning sex okay they love it they, they, i feel like when you wake up after the morning like when you wake up in the morning it's the like i feel like they think you are so pretty they feel like oh every time when they look at you you're so cute in, in the morning like you're so pretty like in the morning you look like you're so handsome or you're so like beautiful in the morning so like that's why they're so like oh, get so horny like in the morning with you and like you know i feel like they um in the relationship after you get married i feel like um they might have to travel for work quite a, a while and they will miss having sex with you so much i feel like you know um as time passes, i feel like they're gonna travel to work a lot or they might not have time to have sex with you and but every time even when they are at work or even when they are traveling or even when they're not with you they always think about you like in a sexual way like they crave your sex like like you know if they come back from like abroad they want to like jump you right away because like they miss you that much like in terms of like sexual energy that you give off and they just want to protect you i feel like like when they have sex with you i feel like they just want to treat you like a princess they want to protect you they want to like you know um um protect you in terms of love in terms of making love they don't want to have sex they want to have making love and you know i feel like um uh, because you got three of sword and i mean normally three of sword in in tarot deck in a normal tarot deck is very dangerous when it comes to love and stuff because like there's the third party um i don't want to say something bad but i feel like maybe when you starting to get older like when you like 30 five plus or 40 50 you need to be careful about third party because i feel like this might be someone maybe that's why you got the deception card as well i feel like there might be someone close uh that you are friend with or you know that might, might have an eye on your spouse and they might want to try to get your spouse to be with them so be careful like be careful on like your like your friends or someone that you know as well because i feel like there might be like a third party that want to get your future spouse but i feel like there's nothing dangerous because i feel like your spouse is like worship you like your spouse love you so much they they worship you so much even if there are some people who wanted to get them they still come back to you they still want you they're still not gonna cheat on you because like i mean you know because this image even though like three of swords is very scary 
but like in this depiction, I feel like the guy is still really interested, and he even block block the energy with the halves, you know. But this woman is try. Maybe they use magic. They try to use magic to get your guy. You know, they use black magic to get your guy. Like you know. But I feel like because you are the best sex that they ever have in life. So they don't want to lose that. They don't want to ruin the relationship. So just be careful towards the end of your marriage. Maybe there might, or maybe like you know, like there might be some kind of people who just want to use black magic on your spouse. But just like it's okay because like if you are you, if you are the empress and the beautiful goddess that you are, the Athena, if you still carry on to be like that, or the loving mother of His or her child, they will not stray. They will not stray on you. They they were even gonna lead, love you much better because they don't like that kind of people who seduce other people's spouse. They they love you so much, but they yeah. But just be careful about that. And I probably think that if you. If you have this, it's probably like maybe your spouse also love music. Maybe they like to have a really sexy music when you have sex as well. Um, I feel like they might like to. They might be very cheeky person. They probably uh, joke about sex all the time. I feel like they probably like always joke about sex all the time, or they always text you very naughty. I feel like they probably. Really, when they communicated with you, they're really naughty in that text and in their wording and in in their looks. You know, they probably like very naughty. And also, I feel like they they love to like indulge you. I feel like they they probably will buy you a dinner, and after dinner, you probably have sex. I feel like they gonna be very good at seducing you in terms of indulging you with food. Maybe you have maybe they like to. Like use food as sex, like maybe they put whip, they love using whip cream or food, or maybe like you know like involving food that uh, like become your sexual uh, fantasy or something like that. And definitely they like to have music on when they have sex with you for sure. Okay, and music's gonna help you to block this. Bad energy from you as well. I feel like because you have this card, so I feel like it's like a black candle. So I feel like yeah, music. If you if you like always enjoy music with your spouse, that gonna make him happy or her happy, and that's gonna make your spouse like uh, don't care about other girls because I feel like you have this like black magic. Person that trying to get your spouse right, but you can block that with your beautiful music. Like you can block that with your energy because you are such a pure mothery queen energy that they want that in their life as a like they don't want to break up from you. They don't want to. They don't want to get away from you, even though those people try to lure him away. Okay, I love you guys so much. I thank you so much for listening to my. Video. Don't be scared of this card, okay? Um, I just have to talk about it because I really need to warn you. But I can feel the energy that he will not cheat on you or she will not cheat on you for sure. But but just be careful of people you are close to. Maybe they're trying to get your guy or your girl. Just be careful about that, okay? Anyway, I uh, thank you so much. Please, if you like, please, if you like my sexual reading, let me know as well. I don't want to like uh, like I'm a little bit shy reading about sex, but I feel like it's very important. So, but if you like. Like it, I would do more if you want. Um, also, if you like my theme Greek god goddesses um, reading, let me know as well so I can do other theme as well or suggest any theme that you want so I can read for you and make a card for you. This card I made myself, and yes, um, please click like and subscribe and ring a bell if you want to know of my. Um, when I post a new video, okay, um, subscribe so we can be friend from the YouTube channel. Okay, I love you so much. See you next time. Bye.